lead them with speech. Steve? Toastmasters, Lathan Wood. Get your head up high, sir. Yes, sir. Because <laughs> I'm speaking to you. <laughs> so, Project 7 is a difficult one. It's a difficult one because I feel very similar in how Lathan and I speak. So I know, as one who speaks from emotion to kind of use statistical boredom can be difficult. So the project says, speak to something of personal matter. Back it up with statistics, testimony, visual aids, facts. Use a variety of support and try and keep it on their level. That's the focus of the project stuff. My, my praise for Lathan was it's one of the first times that I've seen him truly get emotional. See, I think that's phenomenal because the way to connect with your audience is for them to feel you. So when they can feel your soul and how you believe that all those that have done what they gave up, that draws your audience into your message. So I enjoyed that a lot. Die for something, but die for a cause. I mean, that's powerful, right? Additionally, what I enjoyed was the vocal variety. So Lathan is usually this very boisterous, gregarious fellow, and everybody loves that, and how he plays with, you know, wordsmithing. Here, we saw the volume is where the real voice inflection was, because I've never seen you that quiet. Speaking of that a little bit, at one point, it got a little too low where I couldn't exactly hear what you said. Additional positives were the variety of support. When you can go from Janet Jackson to biblical quotes, that's a variety of support, right? right? That was well played out. So there was a ton of support for his matter. Uh, small bits of polish. It's kind of ironic that today is about precision and focus. I got your message, but I felt like there were multiple messages within the message. Where I would make a couple suggestions is, you talked about the three kingdoms. God, self, Satan. If you're going to talk about martyrism, if you're going to stick to the topic of talking to personal experiences and then using information to fill in those gaps, I believe there's a gem within that exact same structure of speech and talking about something. What are you going to, or I should say, where is your cross, as he said it? I believe that you could have used the kingdoms and where is your cross and all the information that you gave, if it was structured just a little bit more cleanly, that there is a marvelous speech within that. Well done, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you, Steve.